Hi, this is Brian McGowan, our Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue. Uh, one of the challenges of, of living in even urban areas is dealing with white-tailed deer and browsing damage that they can cause. And so if you've got young trees and shrubs around, uh, their feeding habits will actually uh, miss shape them so they won't grow the way you want to or even to the point that they could kill them. And so an easy way to do that is to exclude access to those plants at least temporarily. So I'm going to show you a couple ways that I've done that uh, at my place. So this is a uh, um this is hardware cloth, quarter inch uh, hardware cloth. That's the size of the openings. Uh, you don't have to use quarter inch. Uh, in fact, less material is going to be less expensive. It's going to be easier to work with. And so using half inch or even inch is perfectly fine. Uh, this is just what I had around on, on hand. And so it's hard to tell in here, but I'm going to try and get down in there. And so you can see what I'm trying to protect there. It isn't that. There it is. It's a, a young little redbud seedling, eastern redbud, I got from my parents' house. And so I'm trying to grow that in there. And obviously any feeding on that would probably kill it. And so it's easy to put these things together. Uh, you can see I got a couple zip ties there that are just attaching it together. And then I zip tied uh, a couple stakes to it and put, put those down the ground. So that holds it just fine. Uh, so again, it's not the most sightly thing, but the idea here is we want to get that tree uh, above deer browse height where deer can't uh, feed on it anymore. Show you a couple different things as well. I got the same setup over here. In fact, here I just used one steak. I think one's really all that's necessary for a size like this. Uh, but in here, I've got a young, that's a young flowering dogwood. And so that's a tree. It's a native species and I actually grew that from seed from one I got on my property. Uh, in another video, I'll show you what I did with that, how to, how to do that. Uh, this is actually a welded wire fencing, so you can see this is about seven feet tall, so it's a little bit taller than myself. And there's a winterberry shrub in there, that's a native shrub. So I've been protecting this from deer for three years. And so once that gets above uh, um, a, a little little bigger, I'll take the, the wire cage off of there and uh, just let that grow uh, uh, just fine. But uh, just I wanted to give it a kind of a head start this first couple years there uh, to make sure it's good and healthy before... Uh, I let it loose for the, the deer and other animals there. I do want to show you one other thing while we're at it. Walk over here. One of the benefits of having a lot of tree squirrels around is that they bury their nuts and so they can plant trees for you. And so this is a burr oak tree right here. So you can see kind of how big a, a wide it is, about two inches DBH or so. And so right now that thing is up to about 12 to 15 feet. So it's pretty tall. And so this was planted. And so I did have a welded wire a cage around it, just like my winterberry. But one thing I didn't do is after the terminal bud uh, exceeded deer browse height, I took it off. And those young trees, they are still susceptible to damage. And you can see this down right here. This is actually left over from a buck rubbing on it uh, a couple years ago. So it still hasn't fully healed over. Uh, that, that scar yet. And so what I should have done is I should have took a, a smaller circumference of welded wire uh, and just put around that to prevent uh, the, the rubbing damage from bucks. So that's, a, that's another tip that you can try for, for those things. And one thing I just noticed while we're walking over here is I think, oh yeah, here it is. Our squirrels uh, left me another oak tree last year and somehow the deer missed this one there's some flowers and things that were grown up over the year but uh, so this one uh, we'll see what happens to that it's pretty close so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet but just wanted to show you that so thanks again for joining us i uh, hope you can try uh, one or two of these tricks to prevent your uh, deer from getting your uh, trees and shrubs on your property thanks and we'll see you later